Hello everyone, it has been a really long time since my last video and I have been like super busy with work and, and life and on the other side there is like nothing much happening in in the uh, game five space besides like we have like the Russian Ukraine war uh, which in, uh, affects a lot of the global financial market uh, we also have like the inflation and global recession fear. If you guys are thinking about to entering the game five space at this moment and you are without any experience, probably this is like not the best time. Um, you might you might want to wait for uh, one or two months. Maybe you can start with Illuvium. Don't don't go into Axie. Like um, I'll be covering all of my games, and I I won't be editing this video, so you might hear some of the uh, repeated sentence and 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 stuff. To summarize, like this is what has been going on for the past few weeks. So we there is a a sideways movement of our portfolio. So in short, if you are here to to look at how the portfolio has been doing. For the past few weeks, it has been averaging about 160-ish before uh, slight, slightly recover earlier the earlier this week. So it's like, it has been 160, 155. And to be honest with you, the price of this has been pretty much tied to the price of Ethereum. So when Ethereum price goes down, so the entire portfolio go, goes down in price. And one thing that I have observed is that the price of Ethereum or, um, has been really um, stable relatively to NFT. Like I can see like NFT like drop way more in price compared to Ethereum. And Ethereum Sol and Solana has been holding pretty well. Uh, even compared to like L2 solutions such as Immutable X. Alright, let's start with the first game. Um, I want to make this... Uh, a, pre, a way more comprehensive because uh, I might be doing this on a monthly basis instead of a weekly basis. Now first, uh, XC, what is going on with XC is that XC is having origin that comes up. Basically, I have two options. Do I want to spend time to figure out XC um, origin or do I use this opportunity to sell off all my XC? I personally think that if there's no better game that is coming out in um, April or May, I might still play XC for probably like two weeks, three weeks. But 80%, I personally feel like I should be like taking this opportunity to liquidate all of my XC because there are just like so many games out there and and you don't really want to like, like just play a single game. And... The thing with XC is because it is being played by so many players and in order for you to be competitive, you will need to like spend a lot of time in it. So you might not be able to spend more time on the newer games. So yeah, for XC, probably I will try to liquidate as much as possible when uh, Origin and probably I'll just say Sayonara to XC. Now the second game is Monkey Ball. So uh, Monkey Ball is like a... Um, it's like a football version of a of a XC so uh, it is on Solana blockchain um, I like the idea of it so which is why I, I currently I have like two NFT and I have about 1600 uh, monkey tokens um, so what is going on with, with this project is they are going to have breeding um, in the in the next month, but their breeding is different from Axie. It's a very controlled breeding, so that everything doesn't like um, it, it. It doesn't end ends up like Pegasi or Axie, and subsequently they have like staking NFT for uh, play to earn before the P two P comes out. So yeah, so this is like a four v four NFT monk uh, football game. Uh, I think like one of the good thing about this game is the idea is kind of fresh and the NFT looks uh, the artwork looks decent it looks uh, it, lo it looks good actually 
So the next is Illuvium. Illuvium doesn't need any introduction. Um, they have fixed the uh, stake uh, SIOV2. So staking will comes uh, staking V2 will comes up and then it will be the land sale. So yeah, I think I have registered for Illuvium open open beta. Hopefully I'm able to 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 be part of it. Yeah, I personally think that if there is a game that is going to go mainstream to to bring crypto mainstream, it will definitely be uh, it will be either Illuvium, and I, I mean Illuvium has like 60 to 70 percent chance of doing that in in my opinion and i and if illuvian doesn't do it probably we, we might need to wait a couple of years for star atlas to do that but i have like 70 percent confident that illuvian will make it and the next is aurori now aurori is pretty interesting it is uh, one of the earlier solana um project and I think they sh they should be coming out with something in uh, May because that's where like the lockup staking staking ends, and I have like uh, some amount that that's that stake. I personally think uh, it is it is definitely better than XC. Like, like I just personally think think that um, the development. The, I mean, for me like the newer games due to the fact that they are able to reimagine things so much better and without the the um, restriction that XC will need to have i think i think it's like, like if you look at the like the gameplay is like much uh, it's like different it's like fresh and yeah i kind of like uh fresh games um like i get i get bored with games very very quickly and uh, and games that have uh, that doesn't copycat from other people. It it just interests me. The, the artwork and all those is 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 pretty cool for 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 Aurori. Yeah, so it's from Solana blockchain. Now the next is Fantasy 3K. Uh, Fantasy 3K. It is a very very strange project that that I have. I I have some NFT in in it. Um, this project is targeted at Koreans and Japan. And and also probably like some uh, Taiwanese and, and and Chinese consumer, the community is not like perfectly, um, perfectly. Uh, it's like not super big, uh, but it's. I would say that so far it is okay. It's like like the progress is like not super super great, but but they are progress and let's see let's see how 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 it goes, but if if you look at the, um, the white paper and the team behind it the team looks pretty pretty big so they might and they're they're in the midst of launching their own blockchain so um let's see yeah so it's like i will uh i will not comment too too much now next is um the parallel uh it's not this parallel crap uh, hold on let me let me show mm. Yeah, parallel is something that is like really really cool. Um, the cards and and all those it's um, the artwork if you are able to see. So it is. Um, in fact, it was uh, the project started uh, last year June, and it is they wanted they really want to be like the Magic the Gathering of the NFT NFT games and and like. Like what makes Magic the Gathering so special is like the artwork, and it looks like they uh, they they can do it. And another thing is like this is like not a copycat, uh, card game. It's like like they are like card games has been like so similar. It's like attack, defense, and things like that. And like like this one is like a sci-fi, and and it I think at least for me it looks like pretty uh, pretty interesting, and this one. They are able to do it augmented reality. If you check their Twitter, it's uh, it's it's quite a cool project. I, yeah, I managed to um to to like join one of the pack distribution. And the next is uh, Champion Ascension. Uh, this one I have like two. Uh, I minted two two NFT. So, I'm starting to invest more into these sort of projects. So, uh, projects that um they have like limited NFT. 
and if you mean them and you hold them until the game launches in between they are able to airdrop you like different perks and coins and etc so yeah uh champion accession it is like a 1v1 um it's like a one v one arena style. So if if you play like MMORPG, so usually when it comes to like one v one, you have a you have a, a this sort of a like arena type of gameplay. Yeah. So I kind of like those because like one v one is always fun. So yeah. So this one is uh they have a yeah they have like limited uh, NFT. Uh, they call it like the prime um. I can, I can prime eternals and next is uh gears of guardian gears of guardian uh potentially it can be re really really huge due to the fact that it is on the mobile platform i think um a lot of nft games are heading to the pc like even even for for illuvium like initially they are they are being designed for the pc platform but i think like gears of guardian might be like the one that uh because it's like a diablo style it's it it, it actually is more like a dot hack or how do i put it like uh i can't remember what's the square enix game yeah so it's like a, a team of four and dungeon crawler and yeah i, I like their concept but they are redesigned some of the aspect of the, of, the, of the game so which is why the game is like pushed back for a couple of few months yeah so gears of guardian i i have like a couple of nfts uh, just just two NFTs f f at, the, at the time being. Now next is Phantom Galaxies. Phantom Galaxies is al also something like, I think it's like probably, it has like the best graphics. Um, how it works is, it is basically, it's a very, um, it is supposed to be a very big um, uh, planetary war system. And players, they are supposed to like control different planets and starship, and you're able to fight one another. It's kind of like a Star Atlas, but it is like the gameplay is already here, so you're able to like control your mech. So it's like you have uh, players controlling mech to uh, players com controlling starships to planets and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So it's like an entire galaxy if they are able to develop. So yeah, Phantom Galaxy is. Uh, I don't have much NFT, just like a very small amount. I'm just holding like the the Halbert NFT. So and the next will be um, Amber Sword. Now, Amber Sword has been developing their product really, really uh, for quite a long time. I think it's like since last year June as well. And they have been and they have their own style and they have their very strong community. Um, the alpha is starting um in one month time so if you have a batch or a land you're able to join the alpha i think person this might be one of the contenders that will be able to like gather a lot of players if i'm not mistaken their game is on the web browser and it is pc based for the time being yeah but i think they are very unique they have very unique design and, and all those. Now the next one is uh Mouse Hunt. Mouse Hunt is um is on BSC Binance Binance Smart Chain. It is like the only game that there's on BSC. I never really like any game that's on BSC because like a lot of them are like mining games or like semi uh what do you call uh semi gambling kind of games. And what impressed me with, with mouse horn was the gameplay so they had like the one that's behind mouse mouse horn there they really want to uh, go for the pvp and the pv is like supposed to like help them to transition from uh from the pv to pvp so and but i'm not sure whether whether it will it will be as good as like amber sword and things like because like I personally feel MMO or RPG kind of games is better suited in the NFT space. Uh, but this one, this one might, might be interesting because it is a it is a fresh game as well. I will be uh, playing. Uh, I I mean I, I managed to get myself into the alpha test 
So I, I will be testing out. Currently, I'm holding like three Epic mouse and three rare mouse, so total six. So I will I will try out. But because due to the fact like there's like there's not any games that I'm playing right now, so why not give this a shot? Even though it's like a uh, idle game for the time being, the the PEP will only launch in six to ten months time, I think. Now the next is uh, Synergy Land. So Synergy Land, it's um, is on Solana. So initially, a main thing is like uh, two. So the idea is kind of same as Champion Ascension. Basically, you hold the initial um, NFT for probably like a year, and in between, they are going to airdrop you with some stuff. As a, it's it's like a dividend and things that so for supporting their project. So it's kind of like. I'm starting to like all of these kind of pro uh, projects. The other one is like Cinder as well. Now, the, the difference between Cinder and a lot is they are actually, um, they already have the gameplay. They have uh, developed this game, like previously it's called Pharaoh, and it is a very solid game, and they are bringing that, that game and remodify it in, in, into Cinder. Um, the bad thing is th their previous community, the Pharaoh community didn't like them to go into NFT space. And in fact, a lot of gamers do not like their, when Game Studio goes into NFT, uh, in, 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 in case you're wondering, because one of the reasons that they feel is like games have been like going to like the pay to win direction. And if you introduce like NFT, it, it it's going to become a super pay to win. To be honest, I personally think that that might happen as well, and which which I, um, which I'm still like exploring like some uh, some uh, some of the games very carefully, and the next will be Fractal. Fractal is a marketplace, so I, I bought some of the uh, cheaper uh, NFTs and things like so. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing too special except except the fact that it's by Justin Khan and Justin Khan was one of the f of earlier founder of uh, Twitch, long long time ago. It's, it's about ten years or plus. So yeah, so uh, I think I think it might work worth a shot. Like just uh, just hold on to uh, the factor NFT. So the last one will be big time. So this is big time. I have mixed feelings towards big time. Like to be honest, like I kind of feel like big time is like super pay to win because um like the like if you check like spaces and all those it's like very expensive and things like that. So when when it's very pay to win, I'm not sure like players will even want to play it so it's kind of like um it's kind of like sandbox it's like oh uh, like uh, will the players want to like even 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 want to play a game that um like it is so unfair uh, so currently i i only have like the jade uh the jade pass that they bought on open sea uh, and I'm not sure like because like they are just not much of a not much of a discussion between uh um a good dis uh, there's not much like good discussions and 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 and, and things like so it's uh, it's kind of a question mark. I, I, like, I don't mind to uh, get a jade pass to 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 play some but I think probably I'll I'll, I'll rather be playing like Illuvium or or even like um, user guardian, etc. So these are the games that we are currently holding. So as you can see, like these are the value of it. Uh, most of them are in NFT. So in fact, I, I do not have much coins except for Illuvium. And the SILV is for land sales. Yeah, so with this, you are able to see like what's my standing. So in, uh, in terms of the game file, it's about 13. Um, XC is about 3 ETH, Illuvian is about 3 ETH, and some of it is 3 1.5. Um, previously, I hold some Poker Starter, but I sold it when the price spiked 
uh, earlier uh, earlier this week. I'm still holding some immutable X. Um, I don't have much Solana. Um, maybe uh, I'm ju I'm just thinking if immutable X is to introduce staking, and if Illuvium, if if they are they're selling their lands on um, immutable X. Immutable X prices might uh, might spike quite a fair bit. That's what I think. So uh, then, as you can see, it's like uh, I have some US dollars. Then uh, some uh, ringgit Malaysia is in uh, negative <laughs> because I've been overspending on NFTs. <laughs> so the current ROI is like hundred and ninety percent, and it might be probably I will need to devalue this by ten percent. Um, if I'm to sell off anything, but it's about 190 percent. So let's compare. So uh, yeah, so we started in 18 July. So if you compare to ET Ethereum, we are uh, Ethereum increased 55 percent. AXS 119. So we definitely beat AXS. But this doesn't uh, take into account that AXS is uh, delivering almost like 10 percent uh, interest on a monthly basis. Uh, yeah, SLP is just pure set. And our profile profile is like hundred and ninety percent. Now, in in case you're wondering, like th this part is like um, it's like some of the games. Huh? So, exit origin will be this month. Mouse horn alpha will be uh, in the next two days. And big time alpha. I don't think big time alpha will, will, will be here. It's I think I personally feel like it's it's in May. And monkey ball breeding will be here. Our we. I really should have something by April because like due to the fact that they have like a lock uh, lock staking period and May is like you have Gears of Guardian Alpha, Ambersort Alpha yeah Ambersort Alpha is here, Illuvia Open Beta, holy crap I think summer is where everything starts to hit, hit um, starts to hit back up probably like it, 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 it might be a good time like to plan for summer and Nah, since since might have something up in June, yeah. So much, nothing much is going on. April, probably nothing much again. But when it comes to May, it's like you'll be able to see like all of the games just pops up. At least for the uh, early access and and open beta. So, yeah. So this is it. Um. Long time. No see and. Peace out.